July 27th and uh, it's about 9.30. Just getting going. We left the Paradise parking lot here just about 10 minutes ago. We're on the trail. The meadows are coming out. Snow's melting. And we're headed up for another climb. Forecast is good. And uh, come along as we check out the route and hopefully stand on top of Rainier tomorrow morning. Elevation 9,300 here on the Mir Snowfield and uh, still working our way up. It's a beautiful day. Uh, there's a great slide trail still, so you can save your knees on the descent a little bit. Overall, the snow feels in great condition, and uh, we're just gonna head on up to Camp Muir, and so far, so good. Still going up. It's 6 p.m. here at Camp Muir, 10,000 feet, July 27th, beautiful night, and uh, looking up towards Gibraltar in the upper mountain. You can see uh, I was here about two weeks ago and uh, there's a lot more pumice and dust on the snow. It really starts to accelerate the melting. Over here is our trail. Uh, we'll hit tonight at about one o'clock in the morning. You can see the pumice in it. A few little crevasses out there on the cowlitz, but it's still in really good shape. And Cathedral Gap, uh, two weeks ago, that was completely covered in snow and now it's all rock. By this time of year, things melt quick. And uh, the weather off to the east, uh, a couple little puffies out there, but actually a pretty nice night. I'm gonna head back to the hut here at Camp Mirror and uh, then get horizontal up at midnight and going for the summit. Getting ready to go man. It is, check the watch, 1.01 a.m. We got a full moon, light breeze, some guys ready to climb. You guys jazzed? Let's go. We're heading out. It's about 2.15 on the Ingraham Flats here at 11,200 feet. Been climbing for a little over an hour. Just taking a little rest break or really maintenance break, just taking care of stuff. A little bite to eat, a little something to drink. Down here on the Ingraham Glacier, um, just wanted to give you a look of what we climbed in the dark. I'm looking up the Ingraham, we're about 11,000 feet, and now I'm looking over to Disappointment Cleaver. And uh, you can see a rope team up there, just starting down there at about 12,000 feet. And then you can see the trail a little bit, goes through the mixed snow and rock. And uh, actually down over here on the nose of the cleaver, you can see a couple folks out on the very uh, spine is what we call it. From there, where they're at, they get on a traverse and head back over here, underneath some rock fall, some ice fall, and back where we are, safe on the Ingraham Glacier. We won't be long. My rope team, we're going like maybe five, six more minutes. Okay. My group here taking a break. Uh, we're on our way down. It's about 8.30 a.m. We climbed this last night in total darkness and uh, from 12,300 feet here on top of the cleaver looking up to the summit dome at about 13.8 you can see the route. There's actually several rope teams headed down right now. Some good cracks up above but really a nice trail from 12.3 all the way up towards the summit. We're about 13.4 and it's just starting to get light out. Looks like there's a climber or two up ahead. Pretty cool thing about tonight was that moon. Check it out. Here we are, 13,500 feet. And now it's just about light enough to take off headlamps. Beautiful morning up here at 13.5. There is the sun just popping up the horizon. We're up here about 13.8, 13, 13.9. 13, Beautiful. We are walking into the crater rim. Beautiful day up here. Columbia Crest. We're on the low side of the crater and just a second here you will see the high side of the crater and 
the true tippy top. Summit of Rainier, 14,411 feet. Pretty nice day today. It's 6.45 in the morning, and uh, we're on the tippy top. Behind me is Liberty Cat. Uh, it's a pretty nice day. Numbing the face up a little bit, but overall, we'll take it. <laughs> 